Joining us right now on our SDCCU fan hotline, not just football, but you got a bunch of other sports, uh, soccer getting started, basketball's just around the corner. The athletic director at San Diego State, J.D. Wicker, is with us. J.D., it's good to have you on Ben and Woods on 97.3 The Fan. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Great to be uh, be with y'all on the fan this morning. Thanks so much. It's like the uh, it's the start of a new business year for you. I mean, the sports calendar really begins uh, here in September and uh, get it going actually in August now this year for football. It seems to start earlier and earlier every year, JD. It you know we we have week zero football. Um, our women's soccer team. This will be their third weekend of competition and exhibition weekend, and then had real competition last weekend. So yeah, we've been going for a little bit. So let's talk about football, though. I know the first game is always a big one. Uh, you get the big fireworks show, the Sky Show, on Saturday night. Um, what are you expecting from Rocky Long's team uh, as you start a new season? You know, as always, our expectations are high, um, not just for Rocky, but for all our sports. We, we expect to compete for championships, Mountain West Conference championships, and this year will be no different. So I think it's going to be really interesting to see the new uh, offensive formation. Uh, Rocky has drilled me well on it's a formation. It's not an offensive philosophy change. So, But I think it'll make it, um, you know, our guys will feel a lot more comfortable in it. And we're excited to see how it goes. And you can always count on a Rocky Long-led defense being, you know, at the top of the country, uh, especially at the top of the Mountain West. We are talking to SDSU Athletic Director J.D. Wicker here on Ben and Woods this morning. And, and how fired up are the guys to go to go out there and, you know, listen, last year was just kind of a, was, and I think you guys would admit it too, it was just kind of a mess season. Some ups, some downs, uh, wasn't what anybody expected or wanted. Uh, how much do they have to prove this season? Yeah, I think, it, you know, we started 6-1 and one last year, yeah. so it was one of those where it definitely, the end, left a bitter taste in their mouth and, Rocky and the coaching staff certainly made some adjustments to kind of go back to, you know, some things he's done in the past that have been successful. So, you know, obviously you've been through a long uh, month of hitting, you know, your buddy across from you on the, you know, O-line, D-line, whatever it may be. So they're excited to go out and hit somebody in a different uniform and, you know, to go out and prove themselves to show that, you know, we were two-time Mountain West defending or two-time conference champs, we're ready to get back at, get back at it. Uh, JD, I, now listen, I'm I'm kind of the guy that I get called down to the boss's office every now and then. <laughs> it happens from time to time, and I don't think Rocky Long is even immune to getting called to the boss's office. And we were wondering on our show yesterday, we got a laugh out of uh, Rocky's response in the press conference. For those of you that haven't heard it, here it is real quick. Right now, I, you can show up five minutes before the game and get the best seat in the house. So why would you buy a season ticket? I wouldn't even buy a season ticket. I might have something else to do one weekend. I mean, I I think the number of season tickets we've sold around here in the last five, six years is unbelievable with the stadium situation. All right, J.D., so when you hear that, are you like, oh, my God, are you rubbing the sides of your head? Are you just pinching uh, your brow of your nose going, all right, are you shooting a text immediately? How does that play out the other day? Yeah, the, uh, the one, the great thing about Rocky is he always shoots you straight. Hundred percent, a hundred percent. I mean, the unfortunate reality is that you can show up an hour. You can make a decision two hours before a game to, you know, I'm going to go to the Aztec game. You can probably get seats in the club level on the 35 yard line or something like that. So, you know, it's that's it's been a hard part for Aztec football to figure out, and you know we sell a lot of single game tickets. Uh, you know, going into a stadium that's going to be half the size, thirty five thousand capacity, is going to help fix that problem. You're going to have to have season tickets, and if you want a first opportunity to buy season tickets in that new stadium, which is also going to give you first opportunity to purchase all the other great events that are going to come in there, you've got to be an Aztec football season ticket holder and Aztec club member. So it's um, there's a lot of benefit to being a season ticket holder, and that's going to be a big one going into uh, this year and next. And that's the answer that uh, you would have liked Rocky to have given right there. It was perfect. Uh, but you're right. I, I love Rocky. I love his unfiltered, honest assessments of his own team, of his own performance, I mean, his own coaching staff's performance. He does not hold back. Uh, makes him an absolute treasure, I think, here in San Diego. J.D., when you talk about the the new 35,000-seat stadium, you understand the skepticism from from San Diego at large. We've seen so many renderings of stadiums and and arenas over the years that never got built. Um, 
Can you assure everyone, I mean, that that's, this is not going to happen this time, that this is going to get done the way that San Diego State is planning? Yeah, we, we've said all along we're going to do this. Um, and we haven't listened to the skeptics. If we listened to the skeptics, we would we never would have put together a plan for an initiative last year. Um, we have pushed along. We've got architects. We've got contractors. We're going to pick an operator for the stadium. Our plan is that we're going to purchase the property from the city of San Diego at fair market value in a timely fashion, and we're going to put a shovel in the ground. Um, we don't have a choice. If we want to continue playing football, uh, at a high level, we need to get an appropriate size stadium that generates um, the revenue that we need to be successful. And part of that is, you know, getting going soon. And then you can't debate the benefit of San Diego State University growing in the Mission Valley. You just look at what UCSD has become. This is the opportunity for the community of San Diego to see growth like that from San Diego State, and we're already a $5.67 billion economic engine. That's just going to get bigger. So uh, there's no reason for this not to happen, and so we're going to make it happen. With doubters or not, we're, we're pushing forward. We're going to make it happen. Talking to San Diego State Athletic Director J.D. Wicker with us here on 97.3 The Fan. I think just as important as the stadium, in my mind, you might disagree, J.D., but I, I feel for the long-term health of san diego state football in particular that playing in the mountain west is is not a long-term play you know 10 i'm looking 10 years down the road that it seems clear that football's haves and have nots are separating even farther and that the way to sustainable success is finding a way they call it the power five right now i mean it may look differently in the next few years there may be different alignments how do you view that in terms of the future of San Diego State football, where you're going to be playing, how important is it to make sure you're on the, the right side of that line, wherever it is, between football's haves and have-nots? You know, I think the biggest thing for us is control what you can control. Obviously, we want to make ourselves as attractive as we possibly can be, and that's going to be you know, doing the right things, athletically winning, having the new stadium. But the other big piece of it is having an academic institution that's continuing to grow on the academic side. And you look at what San Diego State has done in the last 15 to 20 years, continuing to grow academically, rising in the rankings. And Mission Valley allows us to do that. Um, So presidents make these decisions. We've already got the TV sets being in San Diego, eighth largest city in the country. I think it's right there. Um, so the academic institution becomes very important. Rutgers and Maryland aren't in the Big Ten today because they're football powerhouses. They were AAU institutions, so the top-level academic institution, and they bought a lot, uh, brought a lot of TV sets. So Mission Valley is important from the stadium standpoint, but it's also important from the academic standpoint. So we're going to continue to, to grow in all facets, and we're going to make ourselves very attractive to university presidents making those decisions down the road. Um, so you, you don't disagree with me necessarily. Is it is it an equitable system right now in college football? It bothers me that you know the playoff system is set up that it, it keeps out teams like San Diego State or other Mountain West teams at the beginning of the year. You show up at, at training camp and you can't realistically say that if we won every game we'd have an opportunity at a national championship. And while it, it may be a tiny chance. I love that in basketball, every team can say, hey, we've got the dream, we go to the tournament, we go on a run, we can win it all. Do you feel like that's a problem in college football? I, yes, to a certain extent. You know, I think Danny White said it great the other day where it's an invitational for the Power Five as opposed to a true playoff. Um, but I also think it's going to go to eight teams sometime in the, you know, is it the next two to four years? Is it five or six? Um, And the group of five is going to get an opportunity to have a slot in that eight-team tournament, I would think. So that will truly give us the opportunity to show, you know, what we can do at that point. So we'll continue pushing for that change to have a seat at the table. And, um, you know, but until that time, we're going to continue going out and trying to win Mountain West Conference championships. And that's the key to getting into that New Year's Day ball and establish who we are. And, uh, J.D., I, I love SDSU basketball. I mean, just so many fun times there in Viejas Arena. I know they're not that far away. Um, you know, they're going to be starting practice pretty soon. What what are your expectations now going into 
uh, Dutch's third season as head coach and where this program should be this year with a couple of couple of transfers going to be relied on heavily. It looks like. Yeah, I'm really excited for you know folks to see you know especially Malachi Flynn. Um, for those that didn't see him in the uh, Wooden Classic when Washington State uh beat us and malachi was a large part of that he's going to be phenomenal he's going to be fun to watch uh our other kids coming in are going to help uh yanni down low and um uh kj our point guard it's it's going to be fun um it's going to be a great brand of basketball and yeah i fully expect us to compete for a conference championship i think somebody had picked a second at this point utah state's going to be really good uh, but we took care of business down here, and we had a great shot against them in the conference championship game. So Aztec basketball is going to be back this year, fully field out. J.D., I really appreciate it. Thanks for spending some time with us. Good luck to uh, Rocky's team on Saturday, all the rest of your fall sports as well. Woodsy? Well, real quick, J.D., did you did you slap him on the wrist? Did you, <laughs> did you chew him out? Did you clear a desk? I need I need details on this thing. You know, Rocky still goes down to the weight room and works out with the guys. All right, so, so never mind. Yeah, good call. <laughs> it's a good call. Be my best interest. So. Yeah, you, you, you choose your battles. That's that's exactly right. Thanks, JD. Please. All right, guys, appreciate it. Go Aztec. JD Wicker on our SDCCU fan hotline.